Welcome back. Time for a little one-on-one with the head coach of D.C. United, Tom Sohn. And uh, here's what he had to say to the soccer insider today. Quote, I'm not talking to him today. You're not going to get much out of me. Personally, I consider that a challenge. Yes, we welcome the head coach of D.C. United, Tom Sohn, joining us here on Washington Post Live. All right, before we get into the physical health of your team, I want to talk about the mental health of these guys because they've looked down and we know they've been hurt. But emotionally, how's this team getting along right now? Well, I think it was in the stretch that we had of days off was important. Um, I, I've seen a, just a few guys that are re- revived, um, and it gave some of our guys time to heal because we're still missing quite a few. Such a great stretch of play going into Superliga. You guys started to catch fire, getting on a roll. Gallardo looked like he was starting to hook up with guys, and everything was clicking. Then you get into Superliga, and suddenly everything falls apart. Was it just injuries, or was it there's some you know mental and emotional fatigue that set in? Well, I think you know we, we obviously we were short guys, um, but we put a lot into the Chivas game, and I I think when we came up short, and we had plenty of chances to come out of that with a victory. Um, it, it put a hurting on us, and I think we were mentally drained. And, and now the depth becomes an issue, you know, because th- at that point it's nice to have the depth to take some of those guys off and, and energize the team. Um, but we haven't had that luxury yet. So, no. What are practices like without a full squad? Because you, we're talking about, I mean, major depletion in numbers here. Yeah, well, it, it ends up having the coaches to play too much. <laughs> <laughs> How you hold it up? <laughs> I get one a week. That's about it. One day a week. <laughs> but. Are you able to do what you want to do on the practice field? Like, right now, we know Zach Wells is the starting keeper, and you let go of the guy you brought in in the offseason, Carvalho. What do you do as far as a backup at keeper? You guys looking around now for reinforcements? Yeah, you know, the the easiest part of a coach's job to make sure you have competition in each spot, and that's the best way to hold each other accountable. And um, Right now, we're looking for another piece so that we can have Zach and and then and the new piece fighting over a spot, and I think that make, keeps everybody um, honest. And, and you love to have that every every position on the team. And when you have a, a lot of injuries and all, um, it's more of a, a grind. You have to really look the other way and say, all right, you know, we're going to have to put some young guys on the field, and, and where can we do it? Um, and, and who's able to step up and do that? Luciano Emilio was starting to step up big time, and he got on the sort of role that he got on last year when he was on his way to MVP and winning Golden Boot and all of that. And I know some D.C. United fans and probably some people within the organization were disappointed that he wasn't on the All-Star team. Yeah. But in a way, it was probably good for him to have a few days off. Everybody needs the rest on this club. No, oh, absolutely. And, and, you know, I've said this from the beginning. Um, Lucci's successful also having the, the guys around him who make him a better player. And now when you lose some of those pieces, you know, it's harder for him as well. Jaime Moreno was a guy that, that, that struggled physically at the end of last season but has also looked very good at time, in different spots. You've been able to put him in different points in the field, either withdrawn a little bit or up top. And now we know he's going to be playing, or at least has been asked to be played, for his national team at RFK next week. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you worried that the extra work might end up hurting the team a little bit? Well, you know, it's always an honor to be playing for your country. Um, obviously, the minutes are, are vitally important to manage with Jaime, so... Um, we haven't had that luxury yet this year to say, hey, let's sit him out. Uh, I've done it a couple times. Um, and, and you do worry with, with the minutes that he's going to play. But we'll manage him, and as we get guys healthy, we'll be able to say, you know what, it's best to keep Jaime out. I think sometimes he can do more in 30 minutes than he could over a course of a game um, when we have the amount of games in, in a short amount of time like we did. You haven't had the luxury of having your full complement of players all season. I mean, considering that Ben Olsen's been out all season, certainly he would be in that starting 11 if he were healthy. You haven't had the full complement, but who in your mind has stepped up and really accepted the challenge and performed maybe further than you expected them to? What young guys or guys maybe we should look towards on like Saturday against Kansas City? Well, you know, there's the the McTavishes of the world and the Birches of the world. I have to had, I've moved them around quite a bit to, to fill the gaps and to fill the holes. Um, and it's it's a tough position to have to keep moving around. So uh, I give them a lot of credit for actually, you know, doing what, what they need to do for the team. Um, the, the one guy that I, I can always say, and I I have a lot of respect for him, is Jaime Moreno. He's uh, he always says exactly what you want a guy to say, and, and he comes to work every day. And the mentality is always right. So he's been a, a real blessing, obviously, with Benny missing and all. All right, now we know Gonzalo Peralta and Marcelo Gallardo both had sports hernia surgeries over in Germany. Uh, How quickly can they get back on the field? Who's further along in their progress right now? Um, Peralta's further along. He had uh, one sports hernia, and and Gallardo had two. 
Um, but they're encouraging today. They're both running around the field today. And as I look over and see a herd of guys running, um, we're, we're starting to see guys getting close to getting back. And obviously that's very important for our depth. Yeah, with a game on Saturday, then you get a, a, a week again. You have a couple weeks where it's spread out a little bit and then the schedule gets heavy again. I imagine you're hoping that you can get as close to full health as you can maybe once the games start bunching up. And you also have U.S. Open Cup. Yeah, well, we're going to have to grind a couple out, but I'm encouraged to get some back. And um, I said this before, we're looking to make some changes that will add some depth through this uh, final stretch run. So, um, again, we'll get there. I have to be patient. All right. It should be interesting to see what changes arise. Those things are, are in the works, as they <laughs> Absolutely. say. Absolutely. So tough to get too into it. I, you know what? We got a little more out of you than, than I think even the great Steve Goff got today. So I feel good about that. Tom Sohn, head coach of D.C. United, best of luck this weekend against Kansas City and best of health to your team. Thank you.